Hi everyone, this is Tisha Unarmed, and I'm here to answer all your questions about not having arms. And, as you can see, I don't have any arms. Today is day two of my Christmas vlogging videos. I will be uploading a video every day until Christmas. Today is a very special video. I will be painting a painting for you guys. And I've been getting a lot of requests for painting. Well, I know that you guys want to see how I paint with my feet. So here we are. And another reason why this video is so special is because there is a surprise at the end. So if you want to know what the surprise is, stay tuned and make sure you watch the whole thing. Okay, so let's get started. We need our supplies. Here I have a jar of my favorite brand of watercolors. They are Cotman. They are, I guess, the student grade of high quality watercolor uh, brushes, I should say. They're very good brushes. And they're cute. And I have my watercolor palette. As you can see, it is full and used a lot. Very messy. I try to keep it very clean, but apparently you can't keep watercolor palettes clean. They are just going to be there. <clears throat> I have this book I like very much. It's called the Water or the Color Mixing Recipe for Watercolors. And basically inside is just like recipes on how to make colors. There are color swatches or individual colors if you're having a hard time finding the perfect green or yellow this book will show you how to make those colors and the painting that we will be going off of is in watercolor painting step by step this is kind of I thought that this would be like a really childish type of uh, book inside it has lots of different techniques on watercolors and different ways of using your brushes or your paints and I enjoy looking through this book a whole lot it's just it's just a fun it's a fun book and it's not a childlike book I mean these paintings in here are very elaborate yet simple. They're very simple. So I would suggest if you're learning how to do watercolors to pick up this book from Barnes & Noble or eBay or wherever you find your books at. This painting is by Brian Thatcher and he has a step-by-step -step guide on how to paint it. And that is what I will be painting for you guys. It's a painting of a couple of kids, you know, walking through the park or the forest, you know, walking their dog, and I really, I really enjoy it. Okay, so here I have my paper taped down to a board. It's important to tape your paper down so it doesn't curl up or fold or bend or anything like that while you're painting, which would be here I have my squirt bottle and I will be squirting it into my uh, trays uh, to get some water in there and I'm starting off with a wash with a cadmium red and a burnt sienna mix and here I first start off by getting my paper wet halfway down the paper and I will start uh, putting my wash on. Just a, a light red with lots of water in it, so it's like uh, very see-through. And while it's still wet, I am adding cobalt blue, and I will be mixing it in with the red to make a very light purple, starting at the tops and the corners and leaving the middle of the paper red and I'm 
blow drying it to make it go quicker. And while that's drying, here are some paintings that I've done. Marilyn Monroe. Oh, that's one of my favorites, actually. And a oil painting. Uh, now that it's dry, I'm using my flat wash brush to uh, put in some trees using the same colors, cobalt blue and, and the red, and making it a very light purple, but darker than the sky. And there I'm adding some tree branches to the edges to give it more of a, you know, trees in the background type of look. Mixing a little bit more of that red and, and same blue, cobalt blue, I will be um, putting some bushes to the right side of the painting. There they are, just very light strokes. Uh, I don't want the brush to be too wet. I want some of the sky to show through because trees aren't solid. You can see through them. Well, not through the brand, through 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 the bushes, not through the bushes. You you get you get what I'm, what I'm saying. There, I'm I'm darkening up some some areas around the trees and I'm adding my people in that are walking through the forest. It's a snowy day so the foreground is going to remain white and I'm using some reds and some blues, some burnt sienna. some of those areas, going back over them. Watercolors are very, I think that they're easy to use because you start out very lightly and then you go over it when you want to get darker and you go over it some more and, you know, build up your layers with your colors. And lastly, I'm adding a couple of details. Telephone pole, fence that's far into the background. And then I'm adding some shadows. And there's the little bitty black dog. It's not really black, it's more of a soft gray. And I added a leash. And there are some snowy type shadows. Well, there you go. That is how I paint with my feet. And even though it was a fairly simple painting, I hope you enjoyed it. Now for the grand surprise, I will be giving this painting away to one of you guys. All you have to do is be a subscriber to my channel and leave a comment below. I will pick the winner and it will be announced on Christmas Day. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you next time, and I hope you win! Thank you! Bye!